Hello. Welcome to the channel. I'm passing by to thank you for the 200 subscribers. Can you continue helping me by subscribing and leaving a like? No style but Ronaldo puts style on Saudi football. Cristiano Ronaldo's first season in Saudi Arabia ended sadly, but with hundreds of millions in wages and unprecedented attention in Saudi football, he may not be the last megastar to grace the oil-rich kingdom. The fireworks and euphoria that greeted Ronaldo's inaugural gala in January stood in stark contrast to Al Nasser's season-ending finish when the Portuguese missed out on Wednesday night's 3-0 victory over Al Fate. Despite signing the five-time Ballon d'Or winner to a two-and-a-half-year deal worth €400 million, Euros, $428 million, Al Nasser finished runners-up in the Saudi Pro League without any silverware, although it qualified for the Asian Champions League as a consolation. Ronaldo scored 14 goals, including five penalties, but it was a disappointing season for the Riyadh club, said Makbel Alzabni, editor-in-chief of al Riyadhia newspaper in the Saudi capital. They needed at least one championship. Fan frustrations aside, the 38-year-old remains a marketing stunt for Saudi football and the rest of the country, which is trying to reinvent itself as a magnet for tourism and foreign investment. According to a source close to the negotiations, the biggest oil exporter is also on the verge of closing a huge deal for Ronaldo's former La Liga partner Lionel Messi, Argentina's World Cup winning icon. Reports have linked a host of other big names to the Saudi Pro League thanks to the riches of the Public Investment Fund, the sovereign wealth vehicle behind LIV Golf and the purchase of Premier League club Newcastle United, as well as the signing of Ronaldo. Saudi Arabia is also considering a bid for the World Cup, following in the footsteps of neighboring Qatar, and has already considered joining forces with Egypt and Greece to present a tricontinental option. Fans want championships. Saudi Arabia's lavish spending on sports is often criticized as sports laundering, an attempt to divert focus from its human rights record. The conservative monarchy executed 81 people in a single day last year, bans homosexuality, and sparked international condemnation when journalist Jamal Khashoggi was murdered at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul in 2018. Ronaldo has said little in public since arriving in Riyadh with his model girlfriend Georgina Rodriguez, a highly profitable influencer with 49.5 million Instagram followers, and five children. After mistakenly calling the country, South Africa, when he was first welcomed to Al Nasser, last week he backed the Saudi Pro League to become one of the best in the world. Step by step, I think this league will be one of the top five in the world, he said in a post-match interview. While it quickly became apparent that the veteran player could not win games alone, Saudi football has never enjoyed such attention. Al Nasser's followers on Twitter jumped from 800,000 to over 4 million, and increased from 2 million to over 14 million on Instagram. Fans, banned from football stadiums until a few years ago, have become a common sight, while Ronaldo has also attracted many families with children. Saudi football has become the talk of most news outlets and international media, wrote Saudi writer Moussid al-Abdali in his column for al Riyadhia. Egyptian sports analyst Ahmed Afifi said Ronaldo could not be blamed for the trophyless season, pointing to injuries to other players, including Colombian goalkeeper David Ospina. He, Ronaldo, showed great commitment and didn't act like a big star with his teammates, said Afifi. However, some fans were not impressed with what they saw of Ronaldo, who sometimes appeared anonymously. In many matches it was difficult to spot him on the pitch, commented sports journalist Hawass Al-Aid. After Al Nasser drew with Loli al Khalij two weeks ago, fan Mubarak Al-Sheri criticized Ronaldo's poor and incomprehensible performance. Another fan, Ibrahim al sawalam wearing the traditional white Saudi tunic, questioned the decision to buy Ronaldo. Ronaldo alone is not enough, he said, adding, is it worth that amount? It's a publicity business and fans want championships at the end of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do you agree that CR7 changed the vision in the championship? Leave your opinion in the comments. If you came here, leave your like and subscribe to the channel.